I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and this is the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW. The SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW makes it easy to add real-life I.O. to your next LabVIEW project using SparkFun sensors. In this video, we'll go through all the components that are included in this kit, and in the following videos, we'll show you how to use each of the components with LabVIEW. So let's have a look and see what's inside. The first thing we see when we open the box is our LabVIEW Home Edition serial number. To download Lab LabVIEW Home Edition, you can go to labviewmakerhub.com slash labview, and you'll enter in the serial number when you activate your software. So make sure to keep this in a safe place. Next, we see a bundle of wires for connecting our breadboard and all of our sensors. The next piece in here is the SparkFun breadboard. This is an Arduino compatible board that SparkFun developed. And this is how we'll connect LabVIEW to all of our IO using the Lynx API. The next piece in here is the SparkFun sound detector. So this will let us detect um, sounds, uh, peak amplitude, as well as raw sound data. We have a pack of resistors. These are uh, 10K resistors and there are 20 of them. And then in this uh, bag here, we have a number of things, so let's go through these. Um, first we have um, a couple of these push buttons. We have three uh, of these potentiometers. So this will generate an analog voltage as you rotate the potentiometer. Um, a buzzer for generating uh, little sounds. We have an RGB LED, so we can set um, up to 16 million colors on this by PWMing the R, G, and B pins of the LED. Here's a little uh, hobby servo that we can rotate. We have three photocells for measuring light intensity. We have a transistor that we'll use when we're using the DC motor, and there's also a diode that we'll use with that circuit. And then we also have the TMP36. This is a temperature sensor, so we can measure temperature. We have a USB cable, so this is how we'll connect the red board to our PC and talk to it with LabVIEW. There is an MMA 8452 accelerometer. So this will measure tilt, just like when you rotate your phone. Um, it uses an accelerometer to measure the tilt. We have some more resistors. These are 330 ohms. So these are the type that you'd use with LEDs to limit the current. Uh, there's a screwdriver, which we'll see how to use in a second. Um, a pack of LEDs. So there's um, red, green, yellow, and blue LEDs in here. I think there are five of each, a breadboard for connecting all of our sensors and our breadboard. This is a force sensor. So as you press on the end of this, the resistance changes and we'll use that to measure force. And finally, we have our breadboard and breadboard holder. So you can attach your breadboard um, on this side and the breadboard on that side and it makes it really easy to keep your projects um, built together. So that does it for the kit. Make sure to join us in the next section where we'll talk about setting up our hardware and running our first examples from LabVIEW. Thanks. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.